the scene was set for the final day of the Coca-Cola School's T20 Challenge National Finals. Following two days of exciting T20 cricket, on the morning of day three it came down to a shootout between Grey College and Vaterkloof for a place in the final against an unbeaten Sinsterfians team. Vaterkloof took the momentum they had gathered from the previous day and put the sword to Weinberg early on, as the Kloofies' top order went on the attack from the word go. Evan Jones and Vili Ludek were particularly impressive and built a quick-fire 84-run partnership. Jones, the key man in the innings, scoring 87 not out from just 51 deliveries to help his team to a total of 190. Weinberg's innings never really got going as the Vaterkloof bowlers continued the attacking frame of mind demonstrated by their batsmen. Weinberg eventually bundled out for just 63 runs to guarantee Vaterkloof a place in the afternoon's final. Yeah, it was a tense build up to the game, losing in the first match against Instadians. But we backed ourselves 100% to get in the final and I think we set our game plans for the final and we're all ready. Grey College found themselves up against the unbeaten Synstithians team, brimming with confidence and were put up to the test. Despite losing wickets all along the way, Saints kept a healthy run rate to score 150 for 9 in their 20 overs, helped in large by Vian Mulder's unbeaten 62. Gray's usually distractive top order were kept relatively honest by the Saints' quick men in at the start of the run chase and were never really allowed to change into a higher gear. As soon as a Gray batsman tried to hit the accelerator, he would lose his wicket. Saints recording a 63-run win to keep their perfect record alive going into the final. I definitely think we can do this. Um, we played water club before. I think we can uh, be victorious again. Uh, hopefully our boys can come off and take the trophy home. In the morning's other match, Westville and Kingswood might not have had a shot at reaching the final, but there was still plenty of pride at stake. Westville was still in search of their first win at the event and looked to be well on course to rectify their winless record as opening batsman Alex Whitelord took control of the match with a terrific 108 runs coming off just 58 balls. Westville setting Kingswood a formidable target of 202 runs for victory. Kingswood started quite cautiously and found themselves well behind the asking rate. With 104 14 runs required from the last seven overs, the match looked all but dead and buried. In strode Marco Lombard, the tall lad that had other plans for this result. Having already recorded one ton at the tournament, Lombard used his powerful arms to boss the bowling and hit an incredible 86 not out from just 29 balls that included two fours and ten sixes. Lombard's heroics turning almost certain defeat into an unlikely victory with one ball to spare for Kingswood. We thought we could do it if we batted properly. Um, we didn't bowl as well as we should have. We would have wanted to chase a bit lower, but 200 definitely wasn't out of our reach, and we believe that from the start. In the final, it was the two form teams of the tournament, Sinstithians and Vaterkloof, who rightly had the honor of playing for the overall prize. Vaterkloof won the toss and chose to bat and put pressure on their opponents with runs on the board. However, Sinstithians opening bowlers had other ideas, as Brandon Glover and Nicholas Skulls each picked up two wickets with a new ball. At 23 for 5, Vaterkloof were in massive trouble and were never allowed to recover by the Saints bowlers who applied enormous pressure without any respite. Vaterkloof eventually batting their way up to 75 all out. Despite chasing a low total, Sinstithians didn't get carried away and built a platform up front to launch from. There was a glimmer of hope for Vaterkloof when Johan Terblanch dismissed Ryan Rickleton. However, his opening partner, Ricardo Van Skansalas, carried his bat through the innings to guide his team to an impressive nine-wicket victory. The whitewash for the unbeaten Sinstithians team, winning all six of their matches to be crowned as the worthy champions of the 2014 edition of the Coca-Cola School T20 Challenge. It's a real privilege to play here with a lot of sponsors, especially Coke sponsoring a lot of schoolboy um, cricket events and it's just it's just nice to play uh, in a very professional environment